what about if you want to do a whole bunch of thumbnails at a time? Like a whole bunch of them all at once. Okay, well first you need to have some images that you want to do that for. In this case I have all JPEGs. There are pictures about brochures. You can go ahead and look at them a little bit here better. Okay, so I want all these to be little thumbnails. So the first step is to put them in a folder. Second step, if you're using Photoshop as I have recommended that you do, you would go ahead and go here where it says launch bridge in Photoshop. It's a little button that has the letters B and R. What bridge is, is a place where you can go ahead and manage images. Okay, so on the desktop, I'm going to go ahead and click the desktop. Uh, there's a folder called images. So I'm going to go ahead and select that folder. These are the images. I am going to click output. Then on the por in the bottom portion, you can select those images you want. I want all of them, so I'm just going to go ahead and select all. Control A, Apple A, or you can use your mouse, click, hold, and then drag your mouse over. Now that all of them are selected, I can go under Tools, Photoshop, Image Processor, which will give me this window. In this window, I will go ahead and select the size that I want this image to be because you are interested in getting a width of 132. You could also go ahead and add a height, but I am not too much concerned with that. I'm just going to, for fun, go ahead and select 82 pixels. Then you're going to go ahead and save in the same location. Okay? Go ahead and press run. And it will go ahead and show you a preview of what it's doing in the background. So you get to see the actual sizes and the resizing happening there. Then to see what has happened, you go back to the images folder that you had and it created a JPEG folder. This JPEG folder will have a smaller versions of those JPEGs showing. So that if I go ahead and open my browser, let me open another tab, and then I drag and drop any of these you actually get to see the size of the thumbnail that has been generated on my behalf keeping everything proportional that's how you do a whole bunch of thumbnails using Adobe Bridge you can also do a web gallery just for fun in this case you click web gallery click refresh for preview and what's going to happen is going to go ahead and show you a preview of how and what is going to create should you choose to click save. So this creates smaller thumbnails and kind of like a little carousel library gallery that you can go ahead and incorporate in your site. Okay, that's how you create multiple thumbnails from Adobe Bridge.